to set up the automatic backup display, your this is very dependent on the type of vehicle that you have. I would recommend that you refer to your manual, your vehicle's manual. Um, and if you don't feel comfortable doing this step, I would also recommend that you go to your local garage and you ask them for some technical, um, some technical advice. For this step, we're gonna need some basic tools. So I have here with me a multimeter, um, a set of pliers, just in case we need to do any wire stripping. Uh, I've got a torch because it's always good to see what you're doing and also we're going to need the uh, the long cable that we've now routed from the front camera um, and we're going to use this red wire for this particular installation. I found the wiring loom for the, uh, the lights um, here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to test which one is the reverse light. So we put it in park, uh, we are in reverse right now so let's test which one of these is okay so it's this white wire here so I've disconnected the wiring loom connector so that I can get access to adding the red cable which is coming from our rear view lens camera um, and put it next to the white cable which uh, we've now worked out as the reverse light indicator. Now that we can, uh, now that I've done that, we can now put the connector back together and connect it back into the wiring loom.